This was a very intense stare down to announce Tony Belli versus Alexander Usek on November 10th. <laughs> very, I, I thought neither guy was going to look away. You know, Belli is that macho kind of character where he definitely don't want to look away. And Usek, I don't know what kind of character Usek is, but he's a character. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Usek is mad funny, as far as I'm concerned, like in a good way. Uh, even though he don't speak a word of English, if you ever see his posts on social media, he just comes across as a really like quirky, funny kind of character. And we know he's a fantastic boxer. He wasn't trying to look away neither. And that has to be one of the longest stare downs I've seen. <laughs> Entertaining stuff. The crowd liked it. <laughs> and I'm sure, uh, you know, the fight has got something out of it too. It doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. Because they're too experienced. When you get too experienced guys like this, who looks away first is really irrelevant. It might mean something in the head of the fighter who doesn't look away first. He might think, ah, oh, I've got him. But the reality is he hasn't got him. The two guys are too experienced. You know, Usek is not that experienced as a professional in terms of the number of fights he's had. But in terms of the quality of fights he's been in, he's very experienced as a professional, right? He's been, he's the undisputed cruiserweight champion. So he's had tremendous experience in that sense. And obviously as an amateur, hundreds of amateur fights, Olympic gold medalist, fought in the World Series of Boxing as well, beat people like Joe Joyce in the World Series of Boxing. So very experienced. He's not going to be phased in any little bit by a stare down. It's, it's, it means nothing. It's just for show, really. It's just for the fans. If Belly wants to take something from it, I'm sure he will, but it really means nothing. We all know it means nothing. It's just a, a bit of a spectacle. And we'll see if Tony Billy can do it. I know he's got his stable mates like Dylan White backing him. Dylan White saying he can knock Usek out. Johnny Nelson, interestingly, on a Sky Sports broadcast, was saying that he thinks Tony Billy can outbox Alexander Usek. Maybe he's looked at the Bradis fight because Bradis, Bradis had a lot of success boxing Usek in that fight. A lot of success. And maybe he looked at that fight and thought, you know what? Usek can be outboxed. And if Bellew fights in a similar way to Bradis, Bellew can get it done. So maybe that's what Johnny Nelson was looking at. But Matthew Macklin and Dylan White were saying, no, 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 he can't outbox Usek. He needs to just knock him out. He can't outbox him, but he can knock him out. Particularly Dylan White was almost flat out saying he will <laughs> knock Usek out. And I know Dylan White and Tony Bellew have been kind of at each other's throats over the years. Dylan White has wanted to fight at Tony Bellew. But they seem to be on much better terms these days. I think there is a mutual respect there. And they are stablemates at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah. Let me know what you felt about the face-off. <laughs> Were you as entertained by it as me? And, by the way, Usek's haircut is something that kind of threw me off. <laughs> Man was coming with, like, some 1980s kung fu movie haircut. <laughs> That's the best way I could describe it. It was weird stuff, but you seem like a weird guy, you know, a quirky guy. Anyway, let me know how you feel in the comments, people. I'm out.